Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we're with the First Static Defense Force. They're moving into the town of Shafki. We're hoping to grab a couple of positions here before the assault on the town proper. Okay, so this is a three and a half skull capture base mission. So it looks like they're going to have two lancers here to start. So this is going to be interesting. We've got eight urban mechs and four vehicles. So I'm hoping that this first fight is minimal damage against us um, to start. I have a feeling the enemy reinforcements come from the top of this hill so we can't really be here once we defeat the enemy up ahead. I gotta decide how I want to do this. I thought about like I mean it, it opted to start me up here. I thought about starting down here but then I'm like ah, I don't mind the height advantage to start with. So we gotta capture this base uh, I'm wondering like like if we take the base but then like set up here at least they're not going to have the height advantage on us but it really depends on what they're going to get as reinforcements so let's just move up here I'm going to try and stay as hidden as possible I'm moving out yeah it's too bad Roger. man I recorded four episodes two of them were with the urban mechs and they were okay I mean they were okay fights Position. They weren't amazing fights, but they were okay, and it's just kind of sad that I had like four episodes that... Moving out. Ah, man. I, I couldn't post this because it didn't record my voice. Alright, so there's our move. urban max. So now we've got the urban tank with the thumper. Keep... Oops. Let's keep it going. Uh, where are you? Come on. Commander. Keep going this way. we got to get out of the trees with these guys. The urban tanks are really slow in the forest. Um, uh, move you up. Copy that. We're gonna keep the carrier in the trees for now. I'll do what I can. And the cloud buster, we can move up ahead a little bit. Want to get those Copy lasers that. into play earlier. Now they got a new model for the cloud buster. Finally, looks pretty cool. Ooh, okay, let's see what we got here. A quick draw, not too bad. A two brute. LRM carrier mark two. So we're gonna kill this guy fast. I think that's the same one that we have. Panzer Habitze. Oh, they got a lot of indirect here. Light mortar carrier. All right. Looks like it's an indirect battle. So they've got three, six. So maybe the support lance is only... Yes, Commander. Maybe it's only... Um, two guys. They're kind of light on the mech category, so... So we're going to hold off our mines I think on these guys but so the mortar and the LRM carrier are really the big threats at the moment this guy ah man is this like a demolisher or a Brutus or something modified Brutus looks like it's got a big gun on it maybe a Gauss rifle or something we're gonna stay at a direct line of sight of that guy for sure how much armor does this guy have I have no idea let's go after the mortar carrier um, we got incendiary and standard don't have a lot of ammo. Uh, incendiary will do more damage, so let's go that route. Copy that. Our urban mech unit is um, designed for about 10 turns of fighting, so our ammo is going to be an issue if we're not careful. Hence the uh, overuse of mines. So they probably did an LRM-5, I guess? Ten. Oh, interesting. Ostrock. Okay, so they do have eight units, eight guys then. Orders. Um. Let's get up here. Double time. Let's go. So let's use our. Wait, is this the LRM carrier? It is. Uh, are we going to go before him, though? Let's lock the mortar carrier. Got a lock. Should reduce a little bit of his um, protection there. I'm listening. Um, turn around, and then Nichols got the mortar six. So let's go with you next. We're just going to walk into the uh, in the mineral field here. I'm gonna go after this guy. Now we got flare, standard, 
Airburst and Inferno. Let's just go with the standard. Um, nah, let's front load the Warlord on this guy, why not? A little better chance to hit. So, one of the reasons why I'm going after the Mortar Carrier first is I don't know if it's got a, um, if it's got fast cam. And if it does, it could pose a huge problem for us. Uh, let's get the Mortar 5 on. We've only got 8 shots with this thing, but we're going to take it. I'm going to Warlord this. Try and take this guy out early if we can. Okay, good damage. Good to go. I know this guy's got a Mortar. Lifeboat. Got it. Now, I'm pretty sure they didn't nerf the uh, sensor lock and fire. So I'm going to sensor lock this, and then we're going to go ahead and fire again. Uh, we're just going to use standard if I have it. I don't. Um, Airburst is fine. How much has it got left here? One. Okay. Taking the shot. Should be able to kill him. Critical hit, Commander. Maybe not. Standing by. Um, you got ATMs. Let's get up here. Going to standard. Should be able to target this guy. Um, come on, buddy. There we go. Wow, only 13%, really? All we need to do is get one hit. Um, God, we've only got five turns firing with these. Let's hope we get lucky this way. There we go. Nice. We got first blood. Yeah, it's really limited. Like I, I, when I set up my urban mech units with uh, ballistics and stuff, I tried to only keep it to 10 turns of firing. AMS for the win, baby. 17 of them. Oof. It's going to burn through our ammo quick, but that's fine. All right, now, can we get a shot? I, we can't see the uh, LRM carrier here. Uh, I'm going to get into the mineral I field here. And since we don't get, we don't have range on that guy, we're going to take a shot that Panzer have bits. I think it's got oh, pretty good armor. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, we got flare, guided, inferno, standard. We'll fire the standard ammo. Okay, a little bit. Yes, commander. It's going to take. They're going to take minor damage until we're able to. Uh, Let's go. Get into some uh, direct firing here. Ready for orders. You. Um. I need you to go full speed. On the move, full speed. We're gonna go HE because I got a feeling later on we're not gonna be able to do that. Um. Uh, yeah. Because it'll clear our minefields. So. Ooh. Uh. Let's go ahead and warlord this. See if we can land a shot on this guy. Come on, baby. Nope. Not today. Negative damage. Yes, yeah, I. That's side. Ready for orders. All right. Into the mineral field. Let's move. It's gonna help a little bit now. This one I gotta worry about because we've only got, we've got thunder standard. We got what? Six turns of standard. Two turns of tandem. One and a half turns of LK. Three turns of thunder. Okay, so we're not too too bad with this. So let's go ahead and drop one turns worth. We'll warlord this as well. Get on some early damage on the Panzer Habitza. Okay, not too bad. The one thing I am not going to fire though is the LRM carrier. LRM carrier carrier is going to stay silent. Oof, really? We're not going to get a kill on this guy, but it's going to keep applying damage. So I know people are like, oh, it's like urban mechs and whatever and stuff. I know there's the people don't like urban mechs all that much, 
But as far as when I look at Urban Max, the, all I see is a is a 30 ton chassis. I think this carrier better start fire better fire because if I don't, it's going to be dead before it gets a chance to use up all its ammo. I want to shoot on that guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's for me uh, like it's just a 30 ton platform, right? But the advantage to it, yeah, it looks goofy, right? Sure, I'm not going to say it doesn't look goofy. It looks like a trash can for sure, but. The bonus of for the bonus for that thing though is that um, oh what are we shooting at now while I'm talking here fifteen on the quick draw fifteen no, I think we go after well a brute he's got missiles but I think those are direct fire how much armor does this guy have fair bit I want to strip now I want to go against go against the Habitza see what we can get on this guy so we've got incendiary we got Sam and standard let's switch to standard. I know the incendiary does more, but if we get max later on that we want to overheat and we don't have any incendiary left, it's gonna I'm gonna be upset. So let's just fire this. But yeah, as I was saying, it's a thirty it's only a thirty ton platform, right? That's all it is. And the fact that it's got a hundred and hundred or sorry, three hundred and sixty degree firing arc Order. is really the thing you should be looking at, right? Cause statistic wise, it's not any better or any worse than any of the other mechs. Um, but the 360 d degree rotation, and then you look at, um, what do we got here? We got standard, we got nine turns, and five more turns of incendiary. Um, let's go, uh, three turns of incendiary, is that going to be enough? Um. Let's go with standard. Ah, shit, that guy, go away. Um, but yeah, the, the 360 degree firing arc, you don't get in any other mech. You can change the, the engine out so it's faster. And the, the bonus, though, is you can, because it's, I mean, the, let's face it, most of the urban mechs don't have more than just like one ballistic, one what, two support and one laser. Ready for order. Which isn't really a lot of, of um, hard points. But the benefit of it, uh, let's go after this guy. The benefit of it is always you have the ability to, um, let's go with uh, guided on this guy this time. I want to see if we can get a kill here. Um, the benefit is that the ballistic being in the arm, uh, its quirk gives you plus two to hit with the uh, arm weapons, I think at level 20 or something like that. Which is actually quite good, and then if you get a recoil compensator in there, you can get a half decent ballistic weapon into a 30 ton mech. Do some good damage. So like, you could run with like an like an AC5 in that arm, and then a large laser in the other arm if you want to, or whatever. Commander? And then the, the 360 degree firing arc, I find, and, and you know, you can challenge me on this if you want, but I find it, it will increase your survi survivability slightly, because you can turn your back to the enemy if you've got your front armor stripped and um, turn your back to the enemy to so that you've got fresh back armor facing the enemy um, and still fire at them, right? Because you, you can fire behind you. <laughs> so, you know, that increases your survivability slightly. So, oh Jesus. I don't mind the urban mechs at all. All right. Uh, I need you to get a little closer I'm here. Okay, so we got another tank back here, a Brutus support tank. Okay. So I think we're gonna do. We're gonna fire on this Copy guy. That. So against the Brutus and the Max, we're gonna do a, a direct fire Spend extravaganza. So once we've eliminated their indirect units here, um. Affirmative. We're just gonna crest and like murder them one at a time. So let's go after you. I don't like the fact that we're whittling down our ammo here. Although we don't have to fire. Let's just go with one. Oop. Go with the better chance to hit that is. See, this is the guy that's got the plus two on the arm, right? So it's gone from 33 to 43. Because the LRM's in the arm. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, never mind. Did he? Maybe he punched out. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Heading out. Um, quick draw's got the LRM-10, the Archer 5W, Ostrock. I think we just... not waste our ammo at 15%. Let's hold on. There's no point in wasting ammo. We got, we got such a limited amount of ammo. Alright, Skippy, let's get up here. Position confirmed. You can see this guy now. Let's deliver a round to this guy. Engaging. Well. That's a miss. Oh yeah, they do only have... Oh no, we've killed two. Durr. Never mind. I was going to say, they only do have... Standing by. Two mechs there, but they don't. Alright, you got the AC-10. Let's just get you up into here. Receiving you. Roger. I think we're going to hold off firing again with this guy. Because of the limited ammo. Waiting for order. Ah, Nikumba. Uh, let's get you over here. I think. On my way. I think we bring up the second urban tank in the same area. Yeah, we're gonna be out of uh, AMS ammo by the time uh, their reinforcements arrive. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get up here. Got it. Nine percent. We got lots of ammo. Target acquired. With this mech particularly. Plus we got the SRM4 so we can still fight. Get started on the LRM carrier. I've been sensor locked. They really want that carrier. What do you need? get into here. That'll help a little bit. Oh, we're out of range for that guy. I thought we'd be in range here. 9.2. 22. Mine dispenser 10, two Toronals, and an LRM 30 Pirate. So I'm going to switch this up to incendiary. We want to do as much damage as we can early on this guy. I don't, I don't want him firing the mine dispenser off. Not bad. It's a good start. Follow me to victory. All right, this is getting interesting. Can we see that Brutus without yes, anybody else spotting us? Ooh, we can see that guy. Do we start on that guy? I think maybe we do. That's the mortars. So if we can't see them with the lasers, there's no point um, being in direct line of sight, is there? Just move over here. What's the chance on this guy? 14? I know people are saying, if you don't shoot, you don't do any damage, and yeah, I get that, but at 14%, it's a waste of ammo, especially when we're going to need it for the reinforcements after we take this base. I mean, who knows, they may, yeah, we're out of ammo. <laughs> out of AMS ammo already. Alright, we got to start doing damage here. Um... Commander. Can you hit with the ER lasers? You cannot. Can you do it from here? Nope. Um. Yeah, man. Oh, we can see the guy at the back now go. from over here. Twenty-five. 
Let's use up this some, little bit of incendiary on this guy. Hopefully our carrier will go before him and we can squash that guy real quick. Cause then if we lose our carrier I'd be I'll be okay with that. Carrier for carrier. Waiting for orders. LBX might be in range. Sure is. Uh, what is this? What else does this guy? He's the support variant, though, so I don't know if he's got heavy direct fire or not. I guess we'll kind of find out. We've only got cluster ammo, so it's a good chance to hit. We're going to take the shot. All right, a little bit of damage. Got a fire set, so hopefully he'll take a little bit of fire damage, but it'll probably burn itself out before his, his next move. Damn it. Yeah, he's gonna be gone this turn. I'm under heavy fire here. You are. Orders. All right, we got a crest next turn. We don't have a choice. Twenty-seven. Forty-eight. Roger. I think we're gonna switch up to acid on this guy. Sixty-one. Here it comes. Hey, he's all missiles. Okay. Okay, good damage. I'm here. Let's get on that back, Brutus. ER large is in. Airburst, Inferno, Flare. Uh, I want to go... Let's go Inferno. Wow, we've only got six turns of Inferno. Let's go Flare, make it easier for everybody else to hit. Target acquired. Lasers on, nice. Oh, he's panicking too. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, you got the mortar six, same thing. Uh, let's go guided firing. Acknowledge. God, nothing really there. Orders. You should have. Why do you not have a direct line of sight? Oh, there we go. Got it. As much as I no want to shoot for that LRM down. carrier. I mean, maybe we should. How badly damaged is this guy? A uh, little bit on the side. 25. 11. No, I think we take the 25. And 123 on the front. Oh, he's got SRMs and probably LRMs. Receiving you. Okay, you don't need to move. Locked on. I have no idea where that landed. It landed in the middle of next week somewhere. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell. I have no idea where that ended up. Uh, let's get you out of the mineral field to increase our chance to hit. Got it. Which will increase our damage slightly. So... 43 on that guy. Where is the other... Wow, it's the worst one on that. Worst on that guy. So we're going to fire on him. We're going to fire it all. Firing on target. Not bad. Good to go. Okay, got we got direct fire got ATMs it. on this guy. It's not bad. No, we don't. Out of range. Receiving you. Can you get your large lasers on him? You can. Let's just hope that that keeps you hidden long enough, though. This vehicle can't see us. Yeah, we're back far enough from there. I think we're fine. Oh, here we go. 35. I'm going to warlord this. 42. Not bad. Hopefully we can get one or two hits here. The shot. Got one. We'll take it. Take it. It's nice. 
Okay, switch targets from our LRM carrier. Stripping ammo, ar stripping ammo, stripping armor, but that guy should be dead next turn. Standing by. I want you to stay in the actual. There we go. Mineral field. It's harder for you to hit, but it's also way harder for them to hit you. Let's go after this guy. Okay, I'm on it. Come on. Good damage. LRMs are out. Yeah, it's all our inferno gone. Took burn damage, but the guy didn't fire. Down to nine. Oof, nice. Survive one more turn. Okay. You have my attention. Do I? They've got my attention. There we go. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. I think I'm going to hold off. Ooh, maybe not. Let's just fire it all. I was going to say, maybe I'll hold off on the mortar to save some ammo for later, but I don't think we really need to. In on the nice. Both lasers hit. Okay, not bad. How do we do in the front there? Ooh, pretty good. Should be able to pull him down this turn. Yes, Outcast. Hey, y'all. Let's get a shot at that guy. Uh, let's go with the max damage on him. I know I said I was going to try and save the incendiaries, but... Okay, one laser hit. Got past the armor. Archer's going now. No, quick draw. Still got that LRM-10. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, I wish all of the urban mechs were like yep. five tons heavier. That way I can carry a little bit more LRM ammo and... Ooh, the ER medium's out of range, eh? I guess because it's inner sphere. Go to here. I think though we're gonna target this guy. So only got nine left. Let's switch to um fast. <sighs> Let's go guided. I'm gonna sensor lock. Um nah, let's hold on to it. Don't think we these guys really didn't move far enough to worry about that right now. Come on, finish him off. Yes, I can use my LRMs on somebody else. Okay, good. Vehicle trash. I want to see if we can get our LRM boat Ordered. to, uh, our LRM carrier to target the uh, second Brutus. No. Here. Gotta make sure I'm I don't spaniel. misclick. I'm your spaniel. Uh, we switched from flare back to standard and fire on this guy, um, warlord. I am going to fire the mortar too, just because we got to make sure we uh, do some damage here. Laser missed, unfortunately. I have become. Oh, dead. he bailed. Nice. Don't know if that was a bail or what. Good to go. Pilot was incapacitated. I have no idea. All right. Um, we don't have enough guys left to warrant cresting at this point, so we're just going to move to a position where we can do it next turn. This archer looks like he's in a spot where we might want to go down and blast them all in one turn. If we can do some good damage to this Brutus t with the LRM boat. He's got three large lasers. I don't think he'll stand up to like a Order. couple of turns of direct fire though. Let's just walk it. Moving out. Let's go with tandem. We only got two turns of tandem firing, but might as well do it. 
Come on. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Did we get the side though? They've got a sensor lock on me. Ah. Hang in there, buddy. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Where do we get Ooh, the front. Crap, couldn't have been the side, huh? I know I've said this in the past, but I'm going to say it again. Why is it whenever I'm shooting from the side, I do mostly damage to the front or the back of a vehicle? Whenever I'm shooting from the front, I do most damage to the sides. I don't understand that. It's very weird. Alright, um... I want to see what their best chance to hit here is. Yeah, he's a little too close. Let's go after him. Let's Warlord it. Slightly better chance to hit. Let's use the HE. Confirm. Yeah, funny. Did some damage. Panic him up a bit. Good to go. Oh, Nakuma. All right, let's take a shot at him. As long as those guys can't see me. Location. Cloud Buster's confirmed. got pretty good armor too, so I'm not that worried. I'm gonna wind the machine guns up though, because we might as well. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yes, two hits. And a lot of machine gun damage. Is that mostly side or front? Oh, we got the side. Yeah, see, after I said it. Yes, boss. Prove me wrong. Proving me wrong. Location confirmed. Let's just go this way. Um, we're down to a little bit of guided. Let's just use it. Crap, laser missed. Okay, so if I have my way, we're going to go Brutus, Archer, Ostrock, and then um, Grasshopper. But we'll really have to see. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get here. I copy. Should be able to switch to HE for this. Get a little bit more damage in on him. 50%, we'll take it. Take it shot. Structure's exposed. Yes, Commander. That should be a kill shot. Can we get a direct line of sight on him, though? Apparently not. Oh, there we go. That way I can get the SRMs Roger into that. play as well. well go for the kill shot here. Not the best chance to hit, but we're going to take it. I'm going to save the Warlord for somebody else. That should do it. Scored a critical hit. Apparently not. I'm here. Uh, okay, so let's turn. They're going to kill you next turn. Let's turn. This is what? Quick draw? Ostrock? Turn this way. Confirmed. Switch into standard, drop it all on this guy. Strip a little bit of his armor. Might have been nice to have some uh, incendiaries for that guy, but... We are. Right. Uh, I think we're gonna go after that guy this turn. He's presented himself to us, so let's take him. He goes on 22. So let's just go after him straight up here. Um, yeah. Yes, both, they, both of them landed. Nice. Okay, who else do we have here? Outcast with the LRMs and incendiaries. We get a, just a sight on him, but nobody else? Forty-three percent, that's not bad. Let's take it. On the move. Gonna lock this guy. I don't think he's got any evasion, but I've got a sensor lock. Oh no, he did have evasion. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good chance to hit now. Okay, all three of the lasers hit. Get some incendiary heat on them. Beautiful. Commander. Uh, let's get that LBX on him if we can. We sure as hell can. 
Wait, that guy's going on 14? Do we, we have lots more. Yeah, we got lots more guys that go before them. So let's go over here. On the move. We want this guy here, I think. Now, we could go with the rockets. Try for an even faster kill. 67%. It's not bad. We're going to have to rely on the mines in the second half of this battle, I think. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, not bad. Solid connection on that one. I'm out of short range missiles. Guy should be panicking. He's gonna take a little bit of heat this turn because he's standing in fire. Still firing all three though, that's a lot of damage. Good shooting. Good shooting. Not much I can do about that. He's super overheated. He's gonna die this turn, and so is the uh the Brutus. Uh I flipped the screen again. Here we go. All right, you're on the Brutus. Let's go here. You don't need to be a direct line of sight. You got the mortar, so we'll just keep you back. And uh, do we go guided? How much has he got left here? Just a fraction. Do we have airburst? We're going to go airburst. That should do it. Yeah. Nice. Now some of that damage, I don't know if it spilled over onto this guy or not, but I'm your spaniel. Be nice if it did. Here we go, direct line of sight. On my way. And we've got air burst as well. Let's go that route. Hopefully it'll spill into his center torso. Okay, good damage. Got some crits going. Solid connection on that Destroyed one. the gyro, but he's still standing. He's gone this turn, which means we should be able to finish him up. And as long as the archer doesn't finish the carrier, I'd like to be able to get at least one more turn of firing. If we can. Gotta be careful of the damage we're taking here. At least those two guys are grouped up. How's it going? Because now we can uh, hopefully drop a good uh, HE round from the thumper on him. I don't want a side shot, I want a front shot. Um, on this guy. So we can go, we can go here and get a front shot, so we'll do that. Now, are you... Going to go this route, I'm going to... Hmm... Let's go standard. Not enough. That one's gonna leave him. Well, good enough though. Excellent. Waiting for orders. Down to two. Um. Let's not get too close to the edge. We'll move up to Double here. Time. Let's go. And this is gonna be a tough second half. It depends on what they get. Let's just go standard. I copy. Not ideal, but we gotta start on him. What are you up to, you little bastard? Ooh, okay. They've blown past my armor. That's a lot of. Did you have heavy rockets? Probably did. Wonder if he's got a heavy rocket pack. Receiving you. We have to try and pull that archer down in like one turn if we can. Not a good place to be. Got it. Gotta work on this grasshopper though. Not the order I wanted to go in, but oh wow, wow. Terrible chance to hit here. Inferno and standard. Let's go standard. Copy that. Waiting for orders. This guy's too close. Got it. Nice. Lost stability. Commander. Let's give it to him then. I copy. 
Nicely done. Reporting. Is that a knockdown? It is. You got an LRM-60 coming, Bubba. Up. Unless we can kill you here. Oof, can't even see him. Copy that. Let's get you over there. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should have gone down behind the um, archer. Damn it. Well, too late now. Targeting for a I really do want to go after that that guy on the ground, but I think we need to drop as many Attack rounds on this position. guy as we can. Okay. You have my attention. Yeah, see what I mean? Being able to shoot him from anywhere is like super valuable. Let's get into here. Couple of back shots. Maybe we can get this guy panicking. I doubt it, but maybe. We're gonna turn off the mortar. Uh, just fire all the lasers. Confirmed. Those look like leg hits. God damn it. Well, if it's his uh, right leg, which it's not, because why would it be? I was gonna say we could burrow through his right side, but Commander. apparently we're not gonna do that today. Although, that's pretty good. Copy that. How hot is this guy? Not hot at all. So let's switch away from incendiaries. Um, drop one of the lasers. Fire it all. Okay. He's going on 20. So who do we got? We got a couple... Life boat's the only one that goes and then he goes. Do I secure the kill with lifeboat? Probably. Going full Let's throttle. just see what we got it to a chance to hit with the uh, archer here though. It's not too bad. I could go with tandems too. I wonder if we do this and try and get a crit on him. <sighs> He's gonna move right after, so the sensor lock's not a good idea because it'll be a waste. Uh, let's see what we can get with this. Let's just go right after him. Laser's a miss. A little bit of acid, a little bit of tandem. Okay. Short range missiles are out. Hopefully, it uh, makes him reassess his life choices here. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have done a. Um... Oh, he's gonna melee. Ow. They flagged my armor. Still find that bullshit. My mech is losing internal structure. I see Already. that. You gotta cool off, so... Let's do this. Reporting critical hit. Commander. Might be able to get him to bail out. Position confirmed. Still need to go on this guy though. Ah uh, man, we're running out so low on ammo. Let's go this route. Reporting minimal damage. Commander. Uh, 
not liking this at all. Let's try and get the kill. Miss with the laser, man. Damn it. Okay, good mortar damage though. Critical. Nice. Got the kill. Orders. Oh, we're gonna hit our own guy. On the move. Did not like to have to do that, but we had no choice. Got a BTFU here. Cop. Ah, we are going to shoot though. Oh shoot, I ran. Um, let's get our stability back. Oof, that much over, eh? Okay, we want the side shot. Move order received. And we got our warlord back. Okay, it's the good side too. Alright, we got one hit. Hopefully it was the torso and not the arm. It was beautiful. Ready for orders. Same with you. On my way. I don't care that I gotta fire past my own guy here. We gotta get that torso. Alright, we're gonna fire everything. Yes! Yes. Good to go. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I gotta be careful now. So let's get over here. All in ass. We're gonna get I'm here. Uh you're still alive. Kinda shocked that you're still alive, but that's fine. Nice. We're gonna get behind this hill. I have a feeling they're gonna show up over here. So let's do that. Copy that. Heading out. On my way. So the goal with this now will be to set up over here Moving out. so that we can crest, hammer them with mines, that's if they're all coming in the same location, and then pull back and just kind of like On my way. wait out the devastation because there's going to be so many mines. Almost there. I shouldn't bunch up too, too much. Once we get here, I'll decide where we're all going to go here based on our damage. Some of us have suffered some pretty good damage here. Uh, Skippy. Like that. Get you up. Some of our vehicles. Um, keep you with the back facing that way. Some of the vehicles are going to be front facing, I think, because they've got more armor. Not planning on sacrificing on anybody, way. but um, Move order yeah, okay. Mortar eight, good armor. Get you up a little bit this way. Location confirmed. Order six, a little bit of damage this way. Roger that. LBX can go here. It's moving out. Uh, you're kind of a little bit both direct and indirect. Just stay right here for now. Moving to position. ATM's kind of direct, but we've taken a fair bit of damage. Moving to position. Kind of direct. Moving out. You're okay there. Roger that. Digging in. I think you're good there for now. Got it. Oh shoot! I gotta decide who's gonna activate the base. Oh, I know who can go down there. All right. Um, down. Yeah, I'm gonna send the LRM carrier down there. So, uh, once it's down there, we activate the base. I'll be right back. Flushing heat. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Acknowledged. 
cooling down. That'll keep our heat down. Roger. Got it. Got it. Aye, aye. Understood. Holding here. Keeping it cool. Confirmed. Let's move. All right, there it is. So it activated. We're a little bit farther away than I thought. Confirmed. Holding. Okay, so I guess. I copy. I will keep my heat down. It might be a turn or so before they. Uh, copy that. Or maybe I have to. Do I have to activate the base? Flushing heat. Keeping it cool. Well, regardless, here we go. Acknowledged. Okay, there we go. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Question is from where? Could be anywhere. So it looks like it might only be one lance. Wow, what a chugginess. Trying to figure out where they're moving, that's what it is. Ooh, okay, let's hope they're on the hill. If they're down the hill, it's probably even better, because we got some good range we could just be dropping shit on them. Oh, there they are. Okay, so it's not too bad. We got a uh, Apollo, an Owens. Standing by. Um. You got some good, let's. Oh, they got guys down here. A marshal and a what is that? A raven? No, uh, marauder. Oh, that's interesting. Two top, two bottom. Okay, um, we can do this. Taking her to top speed. We got the numbers, so that's the one bonus. Yeah, we're just gonna hold off firing. It's not worth it at this point. Uh, let's get away from the wall, though. Roll to that. What's the chance on him? Nine? I mean, we could uh, sensor lock him and try to kill him early. Let's try that. Because he's already moved, right? Sensors locked on. And he could be a quick first kill if we gangbang him real quick here. 30% now. He is a light mech too, so I mean we should be able to pull him down relatively quickly. Commander. Move order received. What do I got? Airburst Inferno Flare. Let's go with Flare. Engage. Make it easier for everybody else. Hopefully we can get the LRM boat on him. Receiving you. LBX. Can't get a really good line of sight, but let's move in for a Roger. good shot. Get him in close range. I don't think the Apollo I might be able to get around to get a shot at me. Uh, question is, do I put the dispensers over there now? I kind of want to save them for the guys below, though. Like for these guys. But the Apollo might move forward, in which case, let's do this. Got a lock. Let's go with one. Copy that. I'm out of SRM. That will impede the. Standing by. Repeat the Apollo's, Apollo's movement. The problem with the getting these guys down here with the mind dispensers, I gotta be able to see them, and, the, and they're gonna like, they'll give me a pacing if I'm not careful. So, let's move over here. Hitting out. We have to kind of all go at once. We can't uh, 
go in little bits and pieces. Let's go with guided on this guy. Might as well. Target acquired. Only got a couple rounds of guy to the left. What do you need? Move order received. Okay. Let's go guided. Engage. Yeah, we're barely doing anything to this guy. What's up, boss? You got a pair of LRMs. Let's just move back here. Aye, aye. We're gonna burn, we're gonna, I'm just gonna use one of the LRMs. We'll burn the remainder of the LK on this guy. Uh, we'll wait for the Warlord for the next turn. Hopefully the LRM boat. Ooh! Hello there! Not gonna say no to that. I was gonna say hopefully our LRM carrier will be able to take care of him, but, uh... Yeah, that works for me. Just gonna avoid the minefield. Oof. I think that was a back strike. I'm losing components. I see that. Standing well, by. he exposed himself, so um let's uh show him what we think of him. So if I hot load these supposed to do more damage but it doesn't apparently oh no that's for close range never mind okay marauder coming up the hill I don't like that What's up, boss? I don't like that idea no sir I don't like it moving to position okay hit him with everything EMG's up. Should have warlorded that, but didn't realize until after I pressed the fire button. That's alright. I'm worried about this freaking marauder now. Okay, cloud buster, that's fine. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay, who do we got? Ready. I'm going to go and Vigilance you. So that's your left side. So we can turn this way. On my way. Do this. With this. And this. And hammer him. Oh shit. Really? You couldn't just fire those down the hill, huh? I'm out of short range missiles. You fucking idiot. <sighs> I should just You know, I was wondering when I did that if it was a good idea. This is probably a stupid idea as well. Go. Of course. Let's clear the mines near him rather than by us, because why would we want to clear the mines by us? Let's get you into range. Let's move. Oh, we lost. We do what? We lost the targeting on this guy? Really? Oh, you better chance of hitting this guy anyway. Fine. So painful. All right. Um, man. Well, it wouldn't be me if it wasn't interesting. You. Let's not give that guy your back again. Wait, what side is damaged? The right side. Ah, oh, fuck, that Marauder's coming up here too. Uh, let's get into here. 
just turn and direct fire this guy. Um, do I want to give him a mind dispenser? Come on, blow something apart. Ah, well, we lost evasive. Yep, Commander. You have to worry about that marauder. Like, really have to worry about the marauder. Uh, do we? I don't think you have fast cam, do you? Nope. Well, this guy goes on 16. Let's see if we can make him unstable. Locked on target. Oh, standard mortar rounds apparently clear minefields too now. Yeah. Did I know that before? No, I didn't. Now I do. Uh. Here. Here. Here, here. Engaging the target. Get some mines down where that friggin' marauder is. Waiting for orders. Wish I could just fire a maneuver. Location confirmed. We got a better chance to do more damage against this guy, so... Well, sorry. He's badly hurt, which is why I'm going after him. Less chance to hit, but... Yes, Commander. The damage we do is overall more against him. Alright, so we've got to make sure you're not facing... Do that. Switch to Thunder. Uh, we don't want a Warlord, we just want to do this... And this... And confirm... Copy that. That's not getting anywhere close to where I wanted it. Okay. Cloudbuster can take it. Losing lots of armor. Commander. Side strike. I copy. What's up, buddy? Hey, I got something for you. Locked on. I love how that the uh, some heavy the LBX clusters passed a certain amount. So what, if you're in close, you're just doing full damage to the side. I love that. Okay, not the best in the world. Aye, aye. We're gonna come down here, get a side shot on him, see if we can do some burrowing, firing. On it. Oh yeah, two hits. Yes. Screw you. Critical hit, commander. Receiving you. Okay, now. <sighs> Do I want it? <sighs> Copy that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Couldn't have got any better. At least the Marauder's going to be Good. warm when he comes up the hill. Uh, let's make sure our back is not facing the Marauder. Let's get over here. Standing in a minefield. Feeling pretty grim. We have fast cam? We don't. It is the one thing I'm lacking. Inferno. Let's go standard. We drop it on him? Let's drop it on this guy. He is unstable, we'll do more damage. And maybe he'll just like maneuver to stabi stabilize himself. Maybe. We're losing more mines over there, but he's this guy's pretty much in the clear anyway. Oh, there's the martyr coming down. Ooh. Reporting. Critical hit. Yep. 
He's super hot, though. Makes me wish I had Infernos left. Standing by. Okay, we'll take a little bit of mine damage, but... Not much we can do about it. A couple of explodes. That was terrible, but whatever. Understood. Thirty percent. Do we not have? We got Sam. Got 48 rounds left. Do we hit the marshal or do we hit the, oh, the marauders like stealth? No, we go against the guy that we know we can hit the best. Confirmed. It's only 48 rounds, but hopefully a bunch of them hit. Not bad. Long range missiles are out. You got Sam's left. Reading you they kind of still work. Get out of the minefield. Confirmed. I'll make it happen. Wow, the one strength that we have is mines and we can't use Receiving them. You. They've got themselves in a good position here. Uh, we want to get away from the uh, edge here. So back up a little bit, take a little bit of damage, but... I think we shoot on this guy. What do we got left here? We've got a little bit of incendiary left. You know what? We're gonna put that on uh, this guy since he's hot already. Yeah, it made me wish I kept at least one set of incendiaries for the uh, LRM boat. I'm receiving you. Would have been nice if we had that left, but whatever. That's fine. But now we can see this guy. We can keep the fire up on him. Target confirmed. We can get him to shut down. Uh, thirty, twenty five, thirty. I think we're going to secure the kill with these guys with the Apollo this turn. So... Ah, it's such a hard choice. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Waiting for orders. Say hello to my little friend. Roger that. Ooh, that was a leg hit. Yes. Commander. Get the fuck out of town, buddy. Nobody wants you here. Uh, we've only got regular Locked ammo, so. Thank goodness for indirect, man. Oof. Acid! I think we'll keep on this guy with acid. That should amplify our damage a little bit. You need to get the hell away from the edge. Get away from the edge! Hopefully they can't move back enough to get you. Uh, oh, better chance on this guy. Overheat alert, eh? Just fire one then. Fire. Go with the HE. A little more damage. If we hit, but apparently not. That's a miss. All right. How's it going? Pretty darn good. We're actually doing okay, buddy. 
What do we got left? Air burst, flare, and guided. Oh, and inferno. Use the infernos. He's got two ER PPCs, man. Keep him nice and toasty. Ready for orders. Get your ass back here. Okay, not to the edge completely, like maybe right there for now. Affirmative. I don't know if we're going to get into a direct confrontation with these guys. Yes! Yes, we will! Ready for orders. Okay. How about a little bit of heat? Locking on. Ah! Really? Who's up? Oh, that guy. No, 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 don't shoot the carrier. Okay, good. He's actually giving us his back. He's gonna give us his back. Standing by. As much as I want to shoot for the, uh... Maybe we go, I don't know. Marauder is 69. This guy's 50, so we're going to go with the Marauder then, I guess. Not going to be doing much damage, but we go legs? I think so. I mean, we could try for the head. Get a plink and a headshot, maybe, but I think if we go for the legs... If we can keep the mines coming down there, maybe we'll uh, do okay. Nice. Yeah, man. Stripping armor. So he's shut down. Let's keep him that way. So, um, sensor lock this guy. Okay, he's got no evasion, so that's a good thing to know. You don't need to move. Let's give this guy some incendiaries and his leg. Yes. Scored a critical hit. No LRMs remaining. Leg shot. Maybe we can get him to bail out. Wouldn't that be great? Wait, this has to be a Marauder too. No, it can't be. LBX. No, it's not a Marauder too. I was going to say, the ERPPCs, I thought he had an AC-20, but he's only got an AC-10. That's alright. Alright, uh, Thunder. Um... Go tandem for the leg. Confirmed. So the more chances the thunder has to hit, the more the, the no. mines will hit him and less of them will scatter on the yeah. ground. So the mines will be less effective. So it's just better if, you, if you're going to get a good chance to hit to not use the mines. Uh, we'll go with that. Acid. Come on, bail out, buddy. Solid connection on that one. He's panicking. Standing by. Hopefully this will be indicative of the last battle we fight with these guys. I'm gonna try and do a five skull. Engaging target. Will be a base defense, but still. Is he knocked over? Critical hit. Yep. Okay, he's panicking. Yes, Commander. Mortar Infernos. Sweep that leg. Solid connection on that one. So I'm pleased with the battle rating on this one. This is, I know it was the three and a half skull. We I think we drew a lucky draw on the mechs that they had. Full speed, no target. Could have been worse. Yes, Commander. Okay, you Warlord. Going after the leg again. Target confirmed. I mean, it'll probably splash everywhere, but... Come on, bail out. Critical hit, Commander. Nope. Doesn't want to bail out. Commander. What do you think? Can you convince him? Can you convince him it's his time to bail out? 
Maybe. I got it. There goes the leg. NSS is destroyed in the leg. Yes, Commander. No, we can't see that guy. Oh, wait, I take it back. Let's convince him that it's time for him to bail out. What do you say? Go for those headshots. You never know. Nope. I think I hit something good. Still panicking though. We got our LRMs coming up in a second here. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Receiving you. Uh, here, 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 here. Engaging Don't target. land a short. Oh well. I'm here. Had to take the shot. Confirmed. Much as I want to shoot that marshal. I don't want this guy to get up. I know he's... well... This is our last bit of ammo. Do we take the back shot on this guy? How much armor does he have on his back? 49, 49, 71, so... He's quasi beefy. So let's go for the kill shot on this guy. We're gonna take the torso, I think. Last ammo. There we go. LRMs are out. Yep, they're completely out now. Receiving you. That's all right. I think we're good to go here. I think we're good to go. Firing. At least this time, the enemy's on the receiving end of the in all the indirect fire. Usually, it's me. Have my attention. Usually, it's me taking the punishment and payment, or uh, what do you want to call it? Um, I guess it's just punishment for uh, not taking indirect fire weapons to fire back at the enemy. This time it's their turn to suffer. They can't do a damn thing about it. Locked on. Okay, a little bit of acid. Not bad. AC2 ammo depleted. You got lots. You got lots, my friend. Okay. Flare. Stand. Uh, do I want to go flare? Let's just go flare. Let's light him up a little bit. Help everybody else out a bit. Receiving you. Man, we didn't even use the. Uh, uh, this, he's got LRM five. We might be able to hit some hit some ammo if we do this. We didn't even really get a chance to use our mines. I'm out of long range missiles. No, you're not. Let's do this. You ain't. Standard airburst and flare left. Oh, we got we got two guided rounds. <laughs> Let's go standard. Firing on target. This guy's on the receiving end of a of a beating he can't do a damn thing about. Standing by. That's got to be the worst. Well, I should know. I've been on the receiving end of that. Quite a few times being mortared without being able to return fire. Good to go. Having to deal with those those long range guys hammering you for like... Okay, so wait, that's the right side. Turn like that. Got it. Yeah, hammering you for the longest period of time and not being able to do a damn thing about it. Warlord, let's crank it up. Uh, let's see if we can OP that CT. He's open. Let's just go for it. Of course not. Wasted my 99% chance to hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Should just shot him. Waiting for orders. Well, at least we're providing a smoke screen for our vehicle. <laughs> it's not really, but we're just saying it is. Reporting major armor loss. 
Yeah, you can take it though. That's why I put you there. That's why I put you there. All right, we're gonna take a little mine damage, but not much. I want to get a range here with the uh, serms as well. Not the best chance to hit, but we'll pepper them. Who else is up? Standing by. Can we use both now? Oh, we can. Better chance with the standard, so we'll take that. Here it comes. I think this is my weakest mech, the pair of ATMs. Critical hit, Commander. It can do pretty good direct fire damage for a limited number of turns with the HEs. Aye, aye. Yeah, you don't have any ammo left at all. So... Nope. Yep. All right, full speed. That's my alarm. Ten o'clock. Tell me what you need. All right, turn around. Oh, you're out of uh, you're out of ammo. So, I know this is going to be boring, but we're not going to be uh, engaging just to save uh, damage on our guys here. All right, um, it's the right thing to do. Just a matter of time before we. We connect with this guy and kill him. There you go. There it is, folks. Well, that turned out pretty good. Wasn't quite what I was expecting, but we had to adapt a little bit. It was, it was pretty good, though. Mission successful. Yeah, it's we're okay with a limited number of mechs like that. I think, like, facing eight in a battlefield is... I mean, if we didn't have those those vehicles in that first little bit, we had five vehicles against us. We killed the range guys to start. If we didn't have that, if they were it was eight mechs, it might have been a different story. Eight medium mechs could have been it could have been bad for us. But it turned out okay in the end, I thought. So we got Brutus. I only take two pieces. Two LRM twenty long fires. LRM-30 Pirate. I mean, it's not going to make that much difference. I mean, I guess you should take this as backup in case our vehicle gets destroyed and we've got backup parts. So I'm going to do just... I'm just going to do that. I mean, I'm sure there's better stuff down here, but I'm just going to take these as backups. I mean, the mine dispenser would be nice, but it's no biggie. We'll just do this. All right. A few pieces from the mechs. Howitzer 20... Sentinel sensors, LBX ammo, and... Oh, two mortar fat... Yeah, see, that vehicle did have fast scan munitions. That's going to change things. Now that I've got fast scan ammo, I can switch out some of the, my mortar mechs to fast scan. Because we had three urban mechs with mortar 8s and fast scan way, way back, and we slowly lost them over time and the ammo. But now with the ammo back again, I can replenish that and make the mines even even stronger. So we'll do that, I think. Okay, so 95,000, not bad. You know, just thinking about the urban mech and the 360 degree traverse, what might have been better for that mech? So rather than putting the laser on the left arm, is to put the laser into either the head or even into the left torso. Make the left arm a big shield to shield the mech because with the 360 degree rotation, you could all, while you're reloading the auto cannon, technically, or unjamming it, you could always leave the shielded side face towards the enemy. I mean, you can't in game terms, obviously you can't, but as a pilot, you could tank with the, with the left side with a big shield and then use the, and then just rotate and fire the gun and then rotate back to keep the gun protected. I mean, that might've been a better design, but I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, this actually turned out not that bad. Let's, we have a quick look at the mech bay. We're going to do a little bit of repairs. I mean, for the most part, the urban mechs are actually not that bad. I, I don't mind having the unit, this layout. Although you do have to have the more urbies installed um, to be able to get full use out of them. If you don't have that, you know, Urpocalypse, I guess it's called. Uh, selected when you inst when you install the game, then you're not going to get the variance, and it, at that point, it's just not worth um, kind of building an urban mech lance. You want to have the variance so that you can have your missile launchers and 
and your thing and things like that, right? I think the Urban Knight 9000 is kind of a waste of a mech, but unfortunately it's the the only one I got here. And it does have two missile launchers, so if you set it up right, you can have a pair of LRMs in it, right? Um, which isn't too bad. I think the Ur our Urban Knight is the one that's got the uh, ATMs right now, but I'm going to look at maybe replacing those. If I can get some LRMs in there, I might do that. Because the ATMs, they didn't do too, too bad, but the ATM 6s, I believe, are three and a half tons each. And you could get a pair of LRM, Clan LRM 15s in there for that. So you'd have a, you'd have 30 shots as opposed to 12 shots. Now the 12 shots are doing more damage, but I think with mechs like this, if you're firing a lot of indirect, I think you want to have more launchers and the same percentage chance to hit. Because I think overall it would do more damage. Like if you think about it, like if you're firing... Okay, best case scenario, you're at close range with the ATM-12 doing 12 damage is 144. And if you technically, I mean, you could lo load dead fire into the LRM launchers. And let's say you're doing seven damage a pop. I mean, it's, I think it's, no, it's six, isn't it one and a half times? So it would be six damage a pop with the uh, clan launchers. So that's six times 30 is 180. If you didn't have dead fire, you'd be doing four damage times 30 is 120. So it's still comparable damage wise overall, but but when you once you start cranking down to the lower percentages to hit like you're down around 30% or something and you still have to fire, I think economically it's probably better to fire the LRMs than the ATMs because I think you'll do more, the damage overall might be a little more or at least the number of hits will be more which means you could be adding more stability damage or getting getting that lucky hit on a, on an area that's already been uh, opened up. So maybe I swap those out for LRMs. I don't know. I got to think about it because th with the limited ammo, it's really tough to... And if it is, if I do install LRMs, I'd have two tons of ammo. So that's six, 12 turns of firing as opposed to 10 turns of firing for the ATMs. No, it's only eight turns of firing. So maybe it's not enough. I don't know. Well, I'll look at it anyway. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.